Welcome to Copenhagen Open 2023. Final round and final back nine here. Exciting stuff. We're about to see someone making a run for a run for the title. Oh, yeah. And uh, we don't have the lead card, but um, our competitors still have a chance. <laughs> and this is uh, KJ and Ibo and Matisse Eska that you're listening to. One slightly more skilled than the other, but I know how to equalize the difference. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And Yelte uh, Jensen here. And Matthias. We have notice our new effect shots. I like it. And Temu. I'll say the sound effect. And Rasmus. Oh yeah. And these are some very skilled players and they are still very much in the hunt for a title. Let's see uh, how they do on hole 10. The tightest hole on the course, 130 meters, fairly tight gap, and then you get out in the opening. Landing zone is about here, and then you have 50, 60 meters to the basket. A lot of things can go wrong before that, but uh, the ideal play would be one of those power forehands, so once you clear the the tunnel you can uh, fade towards the basket uh, on your right yeah here's a power forehand looks straight a fades high. a little early yeah and gets kicked down and that's what this hole will do to you and in recent years you've i don't know if you've always done it but you really don't like gaps so on many holes including this you throw forehand rollers yeah that's right yeah just putting down angle and then with the over stability of a raptor then it's just gonna go straight this goes straight and gets this forehand oh, yeah, skip at the end ideal. beautiful ideal that's a jump putt to the basket and uh, let's see if uh, Yelda can copy and paste that success he goes for it as well straight Fading a little early. Get lucky. Get through. Get, through Get lucky. Oh, yeah, but it's out. It's out. And that'll be an easy approach as well. But if it didn't clip that last branch, it would have been all the way. It would have been the first ace ever registered on this hole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, he needs to start a super hot. Uh, oh, man. He needs to start a super hot back nine because he are right now he's our Danish hope for a title. Oh, oh triple kick. That's a that pinball thing. This is more open. The Don't want to jinx it. Skip. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gets the skip. Yeah, yeah. That's That'll nice. Leave him inside the circle with Edge the putt. Circle, yeah. Yeah. And another just outside, I would think. And here comes the e easy birdies. Come on, easy birdie. Yeah, trying to give it a little, little run. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he knows that it's about that time to put in yeah. some serious scores. We were talking about shooting double down, ideally, and Yelde is only at yeah, two under. That's going to be tough from here. But Matthias is at six under, so it's very reachable for him, and he jump puts it in for what should be an easy birdie. You see Rasmus there, not so happy. Oh, that was Timo. Sorry. Yeah, that was Timo. Oh, giving a di disc a little squeeze there. Oh, close. Just not catching low right. Oh, that one did. Yeah. And there you have it, the birdie. He's in the hunt. Seven down. Yeah. Oh, he can make it. Yeah, look at the birdie. And Yelda will start what's going to be nine birdies in a row. Sprinkle in some eagles. And we have ourselves a Danish champion. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. Hole number 11. Very birdieable. Yeah. Very straight forward. Just going to throw a putter with some hyzer or straight at the bump. And just stop in there and get your birdie. Hopefully not having that headwind and that I had. 
in the flat country of Denmark, we call this a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and then okay. Yeah, good yeah, result, yeah. even with the kick. Ooh, Rolls a little. That is very interesting spot there. You don't want to leave yourself outside the circle here. That was on circle's edge. Yeah, they're doing standstill, putter. Oh, yeah. That's really good. That's really good. Good uh, placement right there. That's probably the best placement you can have. Because the wind is from left to right here. So he's getting the tailwind. But he missed that tree that the other two uh, competitors hit. So um, yeah. let's see what Timu can do. Keeping yeah. it low, going for the slide. Yeah. Slide, slide. That's good. Easy. Yeah. All right, let's begin the star frame. Oh, yeah. Boom. Nice. First putt. And here we have a little tester from... Oh no, and then that, that reaction rolling. from it's the hill. It's still rolling, it's still rolling, yeah, it's still sucks. rolling, and stops. Yeah, he can only lay up from there. Yeah, but oh, laying, up, rolling. But laying <laughs> up here is not easy. No. Okay. That was where I was parked in my final round. Mm -hmm. And uh, And then what? And then I hit the top of the basket with full power just yanked it straight up to the to the top and it rolled like I don't know 15 meters away and tried to make it from <laughs> there and then getting a bogey yeah easy bogey <laughs> this is perfect oh yeah what no. was that yeah put it in yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. Two down. Seven more to go. Yeah. No problem. Hole 12. It's a tricky one. Yeah. A long par four. You want to go over these trees or under them with a sidearm, which I think most people did in this tournament, going low. Landing zone about here, and then you still have an approach of a hundred meters, maybe a little less. And then you're gonna land up by the basket and get your birdie. That's, well, that's a little high. high. That's gonna be uh, obstructed. And it's a very, sp even though you have a lot of space, if you make it through, it's a very specific landing zone because you saw how narrow the corridor towards the basket is. So yeah, he, he's gonna take the straight corridor here. He doesn't want to mess with the trees. Oh, that's going to skip into the tree anyway. Okay. So, but yeah, different strategy, uh, same result. Keep it low. In Keep the it previous low. Years, oh, yep. We've There's always thrown over these trees, but um, the tee, they moved the tee a little bit when they made those turf tees. And um, the tree is kind of growing over the, the kind of and it's somehow it's, it's just that angle is and the trees are grown as well so it's just tough to make that over the tree shot i'm pretty happy about it it's impossible yeah, to, to film, film with yeah. <laughs> people yeah. in the deep woods just That's throwing right. as high as they yeah. pos possibly can but yeah but of course i'm not happy that oh, they yeah. didn't make it through Ooh, the gap man go 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 hopefully it's turning over yeah yeah okay yeah yeah it's good it's long Resolve. putt if he wants uh to bag that turkey yeah that's probably just gonna be a par from there but yeah you never know and even here he's a little obstructed because he uh the, from that approach put out in he the has room. a look yeah all the effing oh way yeah. oh yeah oh boom yeah. oh yeah nice sit yeah good yeah Nice, awesome. uh, nice bounce back from Matthias, who uh, who yeah. took the bogey on the previous hole because he is uh, he is in the contention. He's a contender. Yeah, not so well in these trees. It sometimes can get really tricky. And he does not have a straight look from there. He has to go high and around everything. But that looks great. Yeah. You can be obstructed when you're that close, hopefully. Yeah. Well, yeah, trying. Even uh, a yeah. good height. Yeah, yeah. Good height. 
Yeah, you see this is obstructed. Yeah, it's hard to give it a run at the basket, but I yeah. mean, it's there. Oh, yeah. Turned out to be just a bad layup. And here we have the uh, Stroud. So, oh. Yeah. Tough to watch. Yeah, uh, tougher to watch. <laughs> oh, man. This is um, bogey. We aren't eating popcorns right now. It's not the feel-good uh, entertainment we were hoping for. Oh, but that's a birdie. Yeah, that's true. Matthias getting that birdie. Good. And Yelly getting his par. Rasmus getting a bogey. It is a difficult like, hole for sure. Hello! I started a web shop, kjdisc.com, and uh, this is some of it. We sell disc craft, limited edition, and I just got to show you a bit of what I have in here. This is UV turning purple, the Athena UV. And the Pro of Learning as well on the Zone OS, the BV1. Go and check them out on kjdisc.com. Look, look, it's purple now. <laughs> and Pro of Learning in Danish is actually spelled the same way in Norwegian, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Probably a sidearm here or straight putter shot. Some are gonna take that sidearm around the tree on the left, but um, sidearm around left, 75 or, meters. Maybe you could even I throw a Sono S Pro Fluning. I think he's going the straight route here, straight down the middle with a slightly any and then fade miss back. Miss that tree, miss that tree. Oh, stay in bounds. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, he's yeah. safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hit that tree late and uh, lucky enough to stay in bounds. This and that's that low route. Oh, going for the skip ace. Yeah. Ends up outside the circle, downhill look with OB behind the basket. Oh, Dangerous. Yeah. It's tricky. Oh, yeah. I like that. Hitting also that. hitting the same tree. But a better result for sure. Yeah. I guess that's the route. Putting some any on it and let it fade back. Oh, no. Oh, no any. Nope. No any on that one. Yeah, just out of his hand. Right. Same was uh, not having a good day at the office. Nah. But uh, is Yelda? Yeah, of course. Ice cold. Oh, Boom, yeah. there you have stepper. it. Yeah. A little stepper. He and, likes those. And we have an audience, of course, following Yelda around him being the only Danish guy in uh, who can make a run for it. And they all appreciated that putt. So do we. Yeah. Birdie, birdie. Birdie, num, num. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't say birdie for all of them on this card. The yell is uh, getting closer to Matthias. So, gaining uh, strokes. Gaining strokes, yeah. So, another par four here. 189 meters. Hitting this gap and skipping left or just straight here and then leaving yourself with an upshot over these trees and into the alley and this is uh, fairly obstructed to get it over those trees and uh, this first drive is of course essential that was wide. Leaking, leaking right and good result yeah yeah he could still definitely hit the Hit the green from there. But, yeah, that uh, has a lot of power. He probably wanted a little bit more. Yeah, this but is, he was right. Like he, this is long. Wow. Okay. okay. It's even too tight. Going over, he probably can't. No. 
We'll have to do maybe a little roller through there or something. Yeah. But here we have Matthias. Oh, wide as well. Like him and Yeldi, it's not the line you're going for, right? No. You want to really. hit up the middle gap. I think so too, but you can also like hit that little left of the the U U tree or we we tree. Mm -hmm. um, just right of that, and then kind of make it skip. And skip we didn't left. mention it because it rarely oh, comes no. into it. Rarely comes in. <laughs> yeah, it's that kind of round. Yeah, we uh, rarely mention it. There, there's a mandatory there. Uh, it's doesn't really come into play but actually Timu was flirting with it but going over here this is a long one probably in the alley somewhere in the rough not easy to hit that gap from that okay. far back now we see full power from Yelde something really stable he has to go up, high up high and that's leaking left can I sneak through? Uh, that he needed to be more over the right. But uh, leaving him with probably circle two, maybe. Yeah. Is just he just trying to trying go through? <laughs> just to go through, yeah. Okay. Roll yeah. of the dice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's one way. Yeah. And, yeah, and here you see the... roller. Oh, not hitting it. But that was his second shot. That's yeah. very impressive. I haven't seen anyone got that far. Wow. That was a good look. A little higher. It would have made it. It was a long putt. Yeah, it was. Sliding up to the basket. So Timo sort of did make it through with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just, just laying up. Is there no. OB behind the basket? No. Nah. No. Okay. No. It was Probably. just too long. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Nice. Matthias getting the birdie. Sweet. Okay, okay. Yeah. He's eight Quite down. Well. He's eight down. We were talking about double digits. It's very much within reach. Yeah. Yeah, not and not uh, happy about that. With that long of drive and then ending up with a par. Yeah. Hole 15, you can also get away with big numbers on this. It's harder than it looks. Yeah. These alleys are yeah, reaching out for your disc. But a straight drive down the middle is the shot. Keep it low so you won't get that big skip. And uh, That's nice. Yeah, that's looking good. Fade back. Fade, yeah, back. fade back. Fade back. Oh, man. Yeah. Could have been. Could have been. You're going to see a rip now from Yelda, probably. Nice. Uh, Flip up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It makes it back. Oh, but it's This is going to go long. <laughs> Whoa. And you might question, is this OB? But the cameraman will tell you. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the OB stick from hole 18, and he is actually inbounds, even though he is quite uh, long of the yeah. basket. So the OB is only in play for 18, not for this hole. Yeah. Kicks down, at least into the fairway. He was uh, too far right. This lo looks like an Athena. <laughs> Should be in the Athena. <laughs> oh, and here you see the nice oh, yeah. flip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. He might have just bought that from me. Oh, he might have gone long? <laughs> nope, nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah. I was only okay. telling I was only telling the people at home that it wasn't out of bounds. I'm not saying it was a great putt. No. Or sorry, a great drive. Yeah. Highs ring out on no, the putt. The, the long long drives. Back at the spectators. Oh fades. Oh into the bushes. Yeah, into the bushes. No, but he has to he has to go for these and Yelda can make long putts, so But usually they are Zoo. Like yeah. like beamers to the basket not high and trying to be 
you know, inside. But you see the wind picking up yeah, here yeah, as well. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Okay, that, that could. Uh, oh, yeah. close. Close, though. Yeah. Not having the round of his life. Yeah. Oh, man. But you see there on the flag, the wind has really picked yeah. up. Yeah, and yeah. we cut out when, when people are standing for 30 seconds uh, looking for their putt. But sometimes they wait just to see if the wind dies down just a little bit. Yeah. But it's a gamble because sometimes it actually picks up. Here's Yaldit. Right. Nice Good putt. Good comebacker. Nice save. Very important. Yeah. From a knee in the rough. Yeah. Definitely clutch. Clutch putt. Bogey. We do see often a lot of bogeys on this hole. It is here. very tricky, but three competitors getting away with par, and that's not that bad. Let's nope. see if uh, they can repeat on hole 16. Yeah, 180 meters. Got to make this gap. Make that gap. If you're going to go with the cut roller like I do, or just throw your straight <laughs> driver, distance driver, whatever, into the hill. And then make your up shot with a sidearm or a backhand hyzer to the basket. You wanna hit that up shot fairly short on the basket because you will skip and roll. Oof, that's he got out. out. Okay, okay. Out, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess that's that's fine. You just wanna get out here and of course get get some length as well, but just getting out is essential. Oh, that yeah. looks good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, beamer. Yeah. Little beamer. A little low, but he made it out. Like the mistake you often see here is going too high because you want all the distance, but then the top of those trees right there will like punch it down. Is that a prodigy oh, yeah, yeah, lunar yeah. again? Yeah. You saw him. Or uh, Athena, sorry. Athena. Yeah. You think it's the Athena? No, no. <laughs> it could be. Could be. <laughs> it's just purple. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's left U gap. UV purple. Yeah. And that side arm. Ah, he Fates didn't up. really put that any on it that he wanted. Could kind of see that. And now it's going to roll. Ah, not but too stop. Bad. Not, yeah. too, not too bad. Yeah. But um, circle, out of circle two, I think. So it's just an approach. Shelter with the great drive, looking yeah, for the great one. But oh, also, hot, he, hot. he wanted a little more any on that one. He wanted to throw it in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> that would have been awesome. That's a little high. That's, that's looking good, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Disc was uh, flippy, so yeah. it stayed online for a while before it faded out. That's gonna skip. Or go in. All these yeah. competitors are going slightly long as you as you warned them on the drive, but maybe it's because they know it's about time to make some spectacular plays. So you see some ambitious attempts yeah. here. People want their discs in the basket and, and here we have a birdie putt. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nice. Sticks man. it. Good. Okay. Okay, Yelda is uh, putting on some great putts. Yeah. Timo cannot claim that. Yeah. Nice birdie. Yeah. Stress free. Awesome. Even though he went a little long. Swaying. Yeah. The basket is swaying. Yeah. That was the word we were looking for. I mean, your word was also great, but swaying what was what you were looking for. Well, swerving. Yeah, I think swaying. <laughs> swerving. These are temporary basket because uh, the yeah. Pro Tour brings their own. So, yeah. uh, 94 meters. And um, par three is you got to go sidearm or big heiser and uh, it's more or less full full power i think 
the wind is from left to right for his sidearm, so he gotta bring it out a little wider than he thinks. And uh, that looks good. Yeah, maybe not oh. full power for Yelte, but uh, inside the circle. Yeah. And if you have the forehand, it's definitely though a safer play. It's it's more open there, out to the left. There is. But yeah, Yelde went even long, but he got a nice kick. Yeah. Putting him down into circle one. This is high and a little right at the but, end. Uh, yeah. Okay. Here you see the hyzer. Back, backhand hyzer. Yeah. That's and then you just want to filter pretty, through pretty everything. Good. Boom! There yeah. it is. He's I don't understand the play, but when it looks good and when it succeeds, I mean, who am I to question it? Yeah, it's a fairly easy heiser shot. Yeah, but, uh, but too much stuff up there. There but. is there is an alley more of trees, so yeah, the sidearm is probably a safer choice. Oh, Boom, yeah, and can also be parked. Yeah. Knuckles. Yeah, yeah. Little downhill pot obstructed. Oh, tickling uh, the change. Yeah, he couldn't fall. Tickle, well, tickle. He, he could probably fall that. He chose to split yeah. instead. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yelde heating up. Yeah. Love to see it. If he can finish off with uh with a turkey there, like he might not take the victory, if we're being honest, but uh, like top 10 is important also to represent Denmark in the top. So we don't have all these uh, fins coming around just uh, blowing us out of the water. So good to see that Yelte is uh, up there. So far shooting uh, seven down. Yeah. Matthias getting the uh, birdie as well. He's at minus nine. We were talking about those double digits. We'll have to see what the lead card shoots, but uh, he's looking good. Very long hole to the end here, 18. Uh, you want to land about this tree or the tee box or left or right of it. Either way, there's OB all around it. All around it. And uh, you gotta be throwing over this OB area and into the safe fairway, inbounds yeah. fairway area right here. And um, then being around here and then having your approach to the basket. And it's a race basket and OB long and left. So, yeah. It's, it's a slightly different raised basket from uh, when this footage was taken. It's even raised further. So, I mean, when you're coming down the stretch on hole 18, if you decide to run that basket, Sit. It, it gets tricky. Oh, no. No, it's safe. No, that's not safe. It's safe. What? Yeah, because he went long enough yeah, to yeah, yeah, stick yeah. it up there. I thought that was OB. Yeah. Oh, here's a safe play. Yeah. yeah Very yeah. safe. Straight. Yeah. Matthias not going for the eagle, it seemed. Yeah, just caring about the angle to the next shot, and that's probably clever. I like that. Oh, that's Different high. strategy. That's high. Strategy and not on, on the hole. That's high. Yeah, that's OB. So the yeah. first shot we saw went longer than that. And then you yeah. have more of a chance to stay in bounds. Yeah. But I think Yelda's yeah, shot, if he didn't hit the, the branches, it could have been OB. But, uh, but there you see the typical... No, not the typical landing zone. He's going for the... Second part of the inbound fairway, he oh, got a push man. long. No, 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 no. 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 That Oof. Has, has to have some hyzer on it. Yeah. Oh, and he didn't yeah. advance. He didn't advance at all. You don't know, maybe not, huh? No. No, because that's that was over the OB. Yeah, the whole way. All the way, yeah. Wow. Oh, no. So it was yeah, obviously... That is, that is very tricky. Oh, that, that needs to kind of fade. fade oh, yeah, fade, that fade, does. Fade. does. And a skip. Nice. Nice. Good one. Oh, and here we have it. Oh, getting yeah. kicked by those two trees. There's so much space out there, but, you know, those trees, they... There they are, in effect. Yelled it. Okay, oh, he's all the way over there. Okay. 
I totally misjudged his throw. But that's perfect. Good shot there. Just taking every OB out of play. Playing it wide and high and then another wide and high. He's oh, looking yeah. to go to the basket here, but that's leaking right. Does it come back? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah, that's pretty but good. that's a scary, scary, scary putt. Yeah. Probably just an approach and getting done by the round and that's it. But I mean, he's putting for position in the top 10, so Ooh, who knows? Settle down. Oh, oh no. That was trying to hit one of those OB flags. And if you're counting, that was his third OB. Oh no. So much juice, just perfect. Nice. Into the green. Using the slide there. Yeah. That was good. All right. We have Yelta here. A little high. Oh no. A little high. That's OB. Yeah, it is. You're right about that. He did that in his second round as well, I think, or was it the first round? I'm not sure, but he did that. Yeah. He wants to park it. Yeah. And then you got to take bad. some chances. But, um, uh, nope. You were right. Matthias yeah, just laying it's that a lay up. up. Yeah. Yeah. But yelled it. It's not gonna lay up here, man. No, <laughs> he has to go for it. Yeah. He's playing for position in top 10 as well. Very important part here. Oh, yeah, yeah sticks nice. it. He's got some great putts on the back nine. Yeah. Truly, to get that position. Definitely well done, Yelde. Good. Putt. Representing Denmark very well, I think. Yeah. Asmus finishing out with a birdie. That feels nice, even though you didn't have the best round. This hurts. Oh, Timu, man. that hurts. Taking a nine on the final hole oh. in front of the audience. Oh, no. That's no fun. No. But Matthias taking a par there as well. When uh, He's got a nice finish. You see yeah, both him so. and Yelde is shooting 16 down. Yeah. His okay. round was minus nine. So uh, not quite the double digits, but a very clean round. Yeah. With yeah. only uh, one bogey. So Yeah. Good. Good shooting. Here's the overall standings. Yeah. We have Maori taking down the tournament from Estonia. So for the first time, not a winner from Finland while we covered this tournament. Yeah. And you see uh, Yelte there tied for seventh. And there! <laughs> that guy did not finish in top 10. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for more content. Go to YouTube, uh, KJ Disc here. Click on the channel, watch some more cool stuff. Yeah, and go and like and subscribe and go and watch and buy some disc from my webpage, please. Yes! yes KJDisc.com. It's happening. See you soon.